Good evening, everyone. It's Andy DeLeo, better known as Cancer Geek, and it's Tuesday, December 18th, 2018. Uh, today, what I wanted to highlight was a wonderful uh, conversation and some reminders uh, that I got last night in a tweet chat that um, I happened to partake in with the hashtag why we revolt. Um, and while there was a lot of great uh, tidbits that came out of it, uh, the one thing that really resonated with me uh, was a comment that was made about a pause when we talk or inside of medicine, um, when we're conversing with others. Um, and it reminded me of sort of how I've always been uh, labeled or thought of or, or feedback I've been given by uh, the leaders that I've worked for is that I tend to be a little bit too quiet uh, inside of meetings. That they've always said, you know, uh, to show your leadership, um, you have to have visibility and you need to speak up, um, especially on the corporate side of, of medicine. Um, but that's just not me. Uh, I've never been that way. I've always been a natural observer. I've been a attentive listener um, because it's the way that I sort of understand the context. The context of the discussion that's going on, how to define what the root problem is, and to really understand the context of all the people around the table uh, during the discussion so that I'm able to uh, connect the dots and relate a story and interject myself in a way that resonates uh, with the, the people in that conversation. Um, but more importantly, it was great because uh, this morning I started my day with an interview. And in that interview, I spent the majority of my time uh, listening to the person that was interviewing. Um, I wanted to understand, you know, what their story was. I wanted to understand uh, the inflection in their voice, um, what they were excited about, what they're passionate about. And at the same time, where they gave pause and caution uh, because they were thinking through what is the right response that maybe I wanted to hear or how they could uh, flip um, a negative into a positive. Uh, at the same time, at the end of the day, uh, I ended it with a board of directors call uh, with a precision medicine company. Uh, and again, we're going through finances and we're trying to understand uh, market dynamics, uh, what's you know potentially going to be a roadblock or a barrier or a challenge. Um, and what was great about that call, again, is that as I'm listening to all the other members, um, I'm able to really sort of understand what is the root cause, but more importantly, uh, how to ask the right questions so that we can move the dialogue forward. Um, because at the end of the day, what all of us want is forward progress. We want to show that we're moving in the right direction. And so I think inside of medicine, uh, one of the things that all of us can do is make sure that when we listen, we're listening to understand and not listening to respond, which simply means that many times before we jump ourselves into a conversation or we say something just to say it, we have to think back to that acronym, WAIT, W-A-I-T, and ask ourselves, why am I talking? And if we go ahead and we ask ourselves that with that little bit of pause, that maybe we've got a better intention and we've got a better response and we're having a more meaningful dialogue inside of the world of medicine. Because we need to remember that care delivery, like having a conversation, happens at the end of one. Have a great night.